Hi everybody, it's Christina from Pretty Distressed. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be all about taking these plain vinyl shutters and turning them to a work of art using a little bit of paint. And Dixie Belle's a really cool product called Sea Spray Texture Additive. It's gonna give them a chippy old look. If you are new to my channel, I am a furniture painter and refinisher. And what that means is I'm normally taking things that I have around my home or things that I find on the cheap and I'm making them over into new creations. If you are interested in learning more about refinishing furniture, I really encourage you to hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna be notified anytime one of my videos goes live, you can hit that little bell and it will send you a notification anytime one of my videos goes live. You are lucky, I think that might be my shortest intro I've ever filmed. So if you wanna learn how to take vinyl shutters and use them as decor in your house, just keep watching. So one of the first projects I did way back in the day when I first started painting was I had these old um, kind of, uh, what are those called? Room dividers, but it looked like shutters, but it had flowers and all this stuff on it. So I took those, deconstructed them, painted them with like a duck egg color and then put them on my wall in my foyer and just everybody loves them. I get, I've filmed videos in front of them, like they're on Pinterest and I get questions all the time. Like, what color is this? Oh, I love these shutters. That the people who bought our home really wanted them and they really wanted the dresser too that I had painted with them. So I sold them with our home. For almost a year, I have been on the hunt for shutters and it is difficult to find shutters. I didn't know how difficult it was. I've been to antique stores, I've been all over and I just could never find something or people were just charging crazy prices like $75 a piece for a shutter that wasn't even refinished. I have a Habitat for Humanity Restore right down the street from me, so I pop in there every now and then to see if there's furniture or anything in there. One of the last times I was in there, I saw vinyl shutters and I was like, hmm, is there a product out there that could make these look like they're real wood. I found this product by Dixie Belle. It's called Sea Spray Texture Additive. This is just an additive that you mix right into the chalk mineral paint and it makes it really thick. It almost looks like brownie batter. And then you just take that and kind of smush it on your piece and it creates these really cool peaks and valleys, almost like waves. And it just adds texture to your piece and makes gives it that old weathered worn look. So I'm gonna grab all my materials, show you what I'm working with, and we'll zoom you in and I'll get started. Okay, so my first step is I've grabbed my cup and my spoon and my sea spray texture additive and the paint that I wanna use for my first coat. So again, I'm using driftwood. But there is a scoop inside of here and you need two scoops for every eight ounces of paint. This is a can that is eight ounces. I'm not gonna mix this whole thing right now. I think I'm gonna mix half of it and see if that can cover all three shutters. And if not, then I'll mix it, um, then I'll mix some more. I'm just gonna start with like half a scoop. You can always add more paint if it gets too thick or you can keep, if it's not thick enough, you can just keep adding the additive. So you just mix this up really good. So you can see how it looks like a brownie batter. It's definitely a lot thicker than the paint normally is. I had an extra shutter, so I tested out to make sure that the paint was gonna stick directly onto here. There is a little bit of um, teeth for it to grab onto because it has like a fake wood panel. If yours was shiny, an option that you could do was is use some slick stick and put that on as a top coat. I had an extra shutter, so I tested that shutter out and my paint stuck to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paint my first coat on. The technique for this is so easy. So I just have a Dixie Belle premium chip brush. It's a really affordable brush. I'm just gonna dunk it in here and I'm just gonna start smushing it on here. So you're definitely not doing strokes. You're just like smushing on here to get texture and movement. I'm pushing it into all the cracks and crevices because I don't really want to see any of this green coming through. If you like the original color you're starting with, like a brown or a black, you don't have to cover up every area. So as you can see, this doesn't take very much technique. I am going to zoom you guys in in a second and, um, and show you up close what I'm doing. And again, my paint is super, super thick. If you like aren't liking your consistency, you can always add more paint. Um, but mine is really thick. I, I like it this way. So, but it's, it's up to you. You can be creative. You could make it less chunky than this or even more chunky, but it's pretty much like cement right now. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm going in there and making some really chunky, chunky movements. 
So if this is hardening up on you too quickly, you do have to work pretty quick with this stuff. I just spray it with a little bit of water just to kind of, you know, make it a little runny again. Your brush will start getting gunked up with a thick paint so you can spray this as well. I did use all eight ounces of the driftwood to cover the three shutters that I have. So if you're doing a project similar to this with a similar size, I would recommend bumping up and getting that 16 ounce can of paint. So at this point I have all the paint on. If there are any peaks that are too high for you, you can smooth them out right now. So I'm gonna let this dry and then I will come back and do my second color on top of this. All right, color for my top coat, I selected sea glass. It's a really beautiful coastal teal and I think it's gonna pair really well with the driftwood. I like my second coat to be a little thinner, so I'm gonna just take a little bit of paint, use my container again, and I'm gonna thin it out with water. And just a quick tip for you, I always wipe off all this excess paint with a paper towel or a shop towel before I close it up just so um, the lid doesn't stick the next time you try to get it off. I would recommend having a different chip brush than the one that you used on your first technique. My brush got all smushed and smashed from applying the sea spray additive. So I actually just pitched that one. I'm sure I could have tried to clean it off. Um, but it, for me, it was just easier just to grab a new brush because these are so affordable. Now I have three of these to paint, so I'm gonna have this paint open for a long time. So when I'm doing that, I do keep this spray bottle nearby squirt your brush and squirt your paint just kind of like every you know few minutes if it seems like it's drying up a little bit just adding that water will help your brush not get too crusty and your paint not get crusty so i let this dry overnight you don't have to let it dry that long um, just make sure when you touch it that it's completely dry to the touch and not tacky at all so i'm going to distress this up a little bit to have that driftwood color come through underneath and again to make them look a little older I'm gonna start with a 400 grit sandpaper. And I'm distressing this. I'm actually gonna sand the whole thing because I wanna see some of that color come through. Um, and especially with those peaks and stuff that we did with the sea spray, it's gonna look really pretty. If you wanna get more of a shabby look, you can always bump your grit down and use like a medium, like a 150, but I like the way this is looking. Um, so I'm gonna use the 400 over the whole shutter. And this is where it's up to you how far you wanna take your piece. The fun thing about playing with paint is doing your creation to your liking. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine. So the easiest way to clean it is just to take any paintbrush you have that's clean and just wipe it and it'll take all that dust off. And it's really good at getting like in crevices like this. And the last step is I take a tack cloth and wipe it down. I am not gonna seal mine cause I like the chalky finish of the paint and you could wax it. You could even put some dark wax on it. You could do a clear coat on top. You could even use Dixie Belle Gator Hide if you were planning on putting them outside. So this big chip that happened, I don't want that. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of paint and just touch that up. So if you have any areas like that, you have distressing that you've taken too far, just go back over with paint and touch up those areas. Just to remind you, here is what we started with, with the vinyl shutter, and here is what it looks like now. I am absolutely in love with this product. It totally transformed these just regular old shutters into a really beautiful piece of art that I can display in my home. This product is super easy to do. I think it's great for a beginner that's never even worked with paint before. There's not a lot of steps. Dixie Bell makes it super easy. So I hope you guys try this out. Thank you guys for watching this video all the way to the end. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave if you wanna learn more about me or furniture painting. And you can also visit prettydistress.com to see some more of my work. Happy painting, and I'll see you guys next time.